Hello, my name's Caden on Injago and More, and today is finally the day I have woken up to new set images. Now, I have only woken up about 20 minutes ago, so I'm very tired, and that probably reflects in my voice, but I just had to do this because I'm so excited to talk about these set leaks. Um, so I'm going to go through all of the main Dragon's Rising ones now, uh, and then um, I'll do another video uh, after this talking about gardens. So the first set here we have is uh, Kai and Raz's car and ba uh, bike battle. It comes with 103 pieces, um, and it's four plus, and it is uh, 19 pound. The figures, of course, very basic. Uh, Kai and Raz. So if you get this and the poly bag for about 21 pound, you can get two Kai's and um, seemingly two very important villains. Uh, so this is Lord Raz. Um, it looks kind of basic. Uh, you know, big bulky tires, kind of what what you'd expect from a four plus. Uh, Raz's accessory looks awesome. He also has arm printing, um, uh, which I, which I think is amazing. This is the first. I think this might be wrong, but I think this is the first Ninjago figure to have arm printing in like a mainline set, not including the Bricktober packs. Um, like I said, that might be wrong, but uh, that's awesome. Um, so twenty pound is a little bit steep. I won't lie. He's got arm printing on both of his arms, by the way. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit steep, you know, but for for the the detail of the figures, and you know, you, you don't have to buy this. This isn't a set that you have to buy. This is just a set that, um, you know, this is just a set that it, you can buy for a kid or grown people can buy to complete their collection, which is definitely what I will be doing. Next, we have the Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound for eighteen ninety nine with one hundred and ninety eight pieces. Uh, also coming out on June first. This set looks very core esque. Um, the legs look very scrawny on the dragon. Uh, it comes with Lloyd. Uh, who's that guy? Lloyd. A oh, uh, the same guy from the four plus. I made a video on the other day. The Imperium Claw General uh, and Jay. So the figures look great. Um, the build itself, I, mm, I'm i a bit torn on it. It looks a bit like a Vengestone Dragon, to be honest. But I think for £20, well, not even £20, you, you, you kind of have to just accept it, you know? it's I mean, if, if they added another, you know, £10 to the price tag, it would have looked a lot better, but then people would have been complaining. So I think for what it is, it works. The head looks amazing. It's just the legs that look a little bit scrawny. Um, but I will I will move on from them. Um, and I think the figure selection is great. The colour scheme is amazing. The head's amazing. Just the legs and part of the body, just not, not my cup of tea. Then for the three Dragon Power things, I've not got too much to say about them since they are quite small, only £9. We have Nia's Dragon Power Spinjitsu Drift. Uh, her torso hair looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the build looks quite scenic and I think it looks uh, very nice. Then we have Kai's Dragon Power Spinjitsu Drift. Again, really nice figure. Um, the, the printing on the, the mask is awesome. Nia also had that. The build isn't quite as uh, beautiful as Nia's, I think. I just think the colour scheme isn't as nice. Um, but I think it still works great. We have a little robot there. I don't know what that's meant to represent. Um, but yeah, I think this is fine for a tenner. And finally, we have Lloyd's Dragon Power Spinjitzu Drift. Um, yeah, I wrote out the colour scheme on this one. Again, the torso looks amazing. We have transparent green arms. So if you want to make a custom golden dragon Lloyd uh, from Crystallized, uh, you can definitely do that. Put Jay's wings on. Uh, I think that'll look amazing. Um, the printing on the mask looks great again. The, the little builds are great. I assume they all reuse their... Uh, dragon's rising legs so that's that, that's why i've not been commenting on the legs um but the torso looks amazing um all the builds look fine you know no one cares about the builds though everyone's buying these for the exclusive minifigs next we have set 71791 zane's dragon power spinjitsu race car bit of a, an uncatchy name uh, this set has 307 pieces uh, and it's going to sell for 30 pounds uk um, the build is very reminiscent of Scott's Ninja Tuna car from um, uh, Prime Empire, if anyone remembers that. Um, it's, a, it's quite a small car. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it. It, it, it looks decent but for £30. I think it could have been a bit bigger. Uh, big bulky wheels there, as we can see. Um, we have two army builders, two different army builders. 
um, with some very cool accessories. It also comes with Cole and Zayn. And I just want to point out the reason that I'm not taking a closer look at the figures is because uh, later on today or tomorrow, I'm going to be doing another video looking at all of the figures uh, more in depth. So uh, if you want to see a more in-depth look at the figures uh, than, than this, rather than this, then definitely check out that, uh, which should be coming later today. Um, the, the build for the little bad guy flyers is cool, it's simple, it, it gets the job done. Um, I think they could have given Cole a little something here, uh, you know, just like a, a little, uh, you know, maybe like a buildable weapon or something, I don't know, uh, rather than just having him stood there. But I think other than that, uh, £30 is a bit steep, maybe wait for this to go on offer for about 24 and then um, it's definitely worth it. But for what it is, £30, it's not too bad. So here we have 71792, Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. Uh, this set is £43 and comes with 384 pieces. So not a very good price to part ratio, but that's not really something I care about. This set is very unique, I think. And I think this is the first ever Ninjago set to do this, aside from uh, polybags and stuff. I think this is the first ever Ninjago set that comes with no ninja. Is, is that correct? I don't know. I've not fact-checked that, but I couldn't think of any other Ninjago sets that don't come with a ninja. Uh, this set contains three figures. We get Rapton, Aaron, and Sora, and then we also get the Baby Dragon, so I guess three and a half. The colour scheme of this is really um, really cool. It's very, like, D.Va-esque. Uh, you know, D.Va from Overwatch. Um, I feel like this is something she'd ride. Um... Yeah, I mean, the figures, like I said, we'll take a closer look at the figures. The, the the build for the bike mech thing isn't beautiful, let's just be honest. It looks kind of like it was built together, uh, like built, putting scraps together. And if that is the look they're going for, then great. Um, or may maybe when I get my hands on it, I'll see it in like a, a 3D view, my, my opinion will change. So I'm not going to be too harsh on it just yet. And also the flyer thing for Raptor uh, looks really cool. Um, the, the guns on the side and him holding his sword, uh, I think that all looks phenomenal. I don't know why he has white hair though, and I'll, I'll talk about that in my figure video, but from the show it looks like he should have grey hair. So I've just realised how long the video is so far, and the fact that we're not even halfway through, so I'm really going to try and speed this up. So here we have set 71793, the Heatwave Transforming Lava Dragon. For £47, you're getting 479 pieces, so I guess the price to part ratio is uh, quite fair. The figures, you get Kai and Lloyd, the two ninja. Um, for the bad guys, you get Raz and uh, some uh, army builder guy. I don't know his name. Um, and then you also get that girl with the red hair, who I really don't know who she is. She's got fire on her hands, so maybe a fire elemental. Maybe the same way... This is just a shot in the dark. Maybe the same way Niad is the former master of water. This person could be um, a very, very old master of fire from um, the Departed Realm, possibly. That's just my theory. Uh, the dragon itself is kind of cool. Not a big fan of uh, like the curvy neck, uh, but hopefully uh, seeing it in person, my opinion on it will change. I don't think it's bad at all, don't get me wrong. Just not really my, my cup of tea. Next up, we have a set that got revealed uh, quite a while ago. Uh, Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team X, set 71794. Uh, this set has 764 pieces for £75, so... Average price to part ratio, I guess. <clears throat> um, the mech build still hasn't really grown on me. Uh, the sandals look ridiculous. Uh, sorry if you can hear that drill in the background, by the way. Someone someone thought it'd be a good idea to start using power tools while I'm trying to record a video. Um, two mechs, two very mediocre mechs. Uh, the figures, you know, you get Lloyd, who's in however many other sets. You get Raptor, who's in a poly bag. You get Aaron, who's in a, a, a £20 set. You get uh, two army builders, which is whatever. As you can kind of tell, my opinion on this set isn't great. I will probably wait to get this on offer for like £50. Because um, £75 is ridiculous for this. Um, and like I've said, for the past couple of sets, it's not my cup of tea. Next, we have the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Uh, this is set 71795. It sells for £85 and has 1,029 pieces. So we're, we're back to kind of... Ninjago sets having um, good price to part ratios. This set, I think, is one of the most beautiful Ninjago sets ever. Um, that, that's a good, that's a good eye catchy opening, isn't it? Um, uh, the figures it comes with Kai, Cole, Nia, so three ninja. Then it also comes with the female 
uh, Empress. Uh, her name is Empress Beatrix. Um, it also comes with Lord Raz, who we've seen. So uh, I think Empress Beatrix and Lord Raz are the two um, the two leaders. <clears throat> and then we also have uh, Spirit of the Temple. Sorry again if you can hear that drill. It's getting a bit louder. Uh, Spirit of the Temple. You can see uh, where you actually can't see. But on the box, um, he he's kind of stays outside of any violence. So... We don't know if he's a good guy, if he's a bad guy, if he if he's gonna fight the good guys and the bad guys. I'm thinking maybe like um Sensei Yang in um in season five when they're trying to get the scroll of Ajitsu and he haunts them. I'm guessing that this guy might have a similar uh, kind of um you know, a similar kind of uh, attitude. Um yeah, the build is gorgeous. We have those doors. We have uh, that beautiful autumn tree. Uh, the back of it also looks cool. I've not got a picture of the back of it yet. Uh, what I'm probably going to do after this is make uh, longer videos um, and give each set a separate video, looking at each set in more depth. Um, so I can just talk about them as much as I want. But the Spirit of the Temple character, um, some people have even uh, theorised that it, may, you know, like it might be someone from the Departed Realm. Um, which I think would be awesome. Some people are saying, like, Garmadon, Moro, Mistake. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, who who is to say uh, that there is really any possibility? But the colour scheme of this is gorgeous. The detail is phenomenal. Uh, and this is definitely a set that I'm going to be picking up on day one. Second to last here, we have Elemental Dragon versus the Empress Mech. This is £95 uh, with 1,038 pieces. Uh, and the set number is 71796. This set looks gorgeous. I cannot believe it. The 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 dragon. I mean, compare this to the last J Elemental Dragon we got. Which don't get me wrong, great set, the season six one. But this is just beautiful. It looks so good. We have the blue and the yellow and the lightning on its tail. Um, the figures. It looks like you get Zane, J, uh, Sora, uh, Lord Raz again. Um, we, oh, we get the baby dragon, we get Empress Beatrix, and we get an Imperium Guard. So, uh, yeah, that's that's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of figures, but it is a £95 set, so kind of what you'd expect. Um, I mean, the builds for this yeah, are, are just great. The mech, I think, looks good. Um, the, the, these are kind of the two things that Ninjago is known for, mechs and dragons. Um, so, getting a big mech and a big dragon in one set is... Um, a, a, a big, a big W. Uh, I think was the original uh, leak uh, leak name for this, um, Empress Dragon. Uh, so, but now it's Elemental Dragon versus Empress Mech. So I think there might have been uh, like a miscommunication there or something. But um, I love dragons. I love Ninjago dragons. Uh, and this, I mean, it's got to be one of like the top three dragons of all time. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, and again, uh, hopefully, I'm going to be picking this up on day one. Now, I've been very positive so far, but I think all that is about to change with the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. This is £130 for 1,739 pieces, uh, and the set number is 71797 for anyone who is interested. Where to begin? Where to begin? So, the figures, let's just talk about them quickly, get them out of the way, because I'm going to have a few complaints here. Uh, so, we get Sora and Aaron. Fine, cool, whatever. We get Raptor, Sora, Arin, and Raptor, which means if you get this set, you have no need to buy Sora's mech bike unless you actually want the bike. Because um, you, you also get the baby dragon. I don't know if that comes in Sora's mech bike. I can't remember. It was about an hour ago since I filmed that. Uh, a little behind the scenes. The drill was really loud before. So um, in between one of the, uh, the discussions, I actually went for a shower. <laughs> um, so I can't remember which... Uh, which figures came in that, but it was definitely Sora, Aaron, and Raptor. So if you get this set, you will have no need to buy that £40 set. We get Lloyd and Kai, two quite common figures this wave. But, you know, it, it would have been nice if they included another ninja, but maybe that's not accurate or, or whatever. So I'm not going to complain about that. What I am going to complain about is Wu. That, if you can't tell from this picture, is Core Wu. They have just reused Core Wu. They've not given him a new suit or anything. It's, it's just Core Wu. How, how lazy is that? I mean, come on, man. I'm not going to complain about it too much, but Core Wu, 
you know, at, at first he was exclusive to the monastery dojo training thing. And then he came in the Creative Ninja Brick Box. And then he's been in, in uh, one or two magazines. And then now he's in this set. So he's still, like, you know, he's still only in kind of expensive sets if you don't include the magazines. But I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just really not happy with that. And I was really hoping for a new Wu variant. Uh, the Dragon, I'm sure everyone's thought this. The Dragon looks a lot like Zippy from, um, or Lloyd's Jungle Dragon from uh, Season 14 or The Island. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. It's quite small. Uh, this this set is very reminiscent of the um, 2015 bounty, the possession bounty, not only in its design, in its shape, but also the fact that it comes with a smaller uh, dragon side build. Um, the actual bounty itself, I mean, for £130, it really could have been, you know... I mean, if, if they... If, if, like, I look at a review of it and it's, like, a lot bigger than, than it looks, then sure, whatever, I'll, I'll I'll take back my words. But looking at it now, it does not look like £130 worth of uh, Lego. Uh, I'm trying to flick through the other pictures on the Lego website, but there's nothing really that's making me change my mind. Um, I, I, I'm not going to be getting this on day one, definitely. Uh, I'm going to wait for... It has, like, a cool interior and stuff. Um, you, you can check all the pictures out on the, the Lego website. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, ne I'm definitely not paying £130 for this. Uh, I think I'll be waiting for it to go on offer. Uh, maybe £85, then I'll, then I'll think about buying it. Um, but £130 definitely is a no-go. But I believe, unless I've accidentally missed one, I believe that that is every um, Dragon's Rising set. Of course, there's the uh, Ninjago City Markets, which uh, I'm going to do a separate video on because there is just so much to talk about and this video has already gone on for long enough. Um, so, you know, if, if you want to see more Dragon's Rising reviews and footage and looking at pic i say footage i mean like looking at pictures talking about them discussions i guess is the right word uh definitely subscribe because that that's all i'm going to be doing in the next couple of days just talking about dragons rising the sets any new trailers um and all that fun stuff so thank you so much for watching if anyone actually made it this far and i'll see you later bye